is Harry J for mass communication. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go inside to your bias and change the booting option. That is mainly how you can reset your booting option from hard drive to CD drive or external USB drive. Okay, very simple this video would be. You have to go to the start button. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see properly. I have uh, Asus ROG Stick Computer is a gamer notebook. In this I'm gonna show you how you can go in Asus ROG Stick and change the boot option from the bars. Okay, you have to restart your computer. That is very simple. Okay, power restart the computer and while it's restarting you have to hit F2 button. As you see after this skin when you have black skin hit F2 continuously. If F2 doesn't work you can use Dell button or F10 key. Very fast the machine is as you can see. So F2, F10 or Dell depend on the model or any other gaming machine could be between these three buttons. Okay, I'm in the bus. Let me zoom a little bit more so you can see properly all the option. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you see here I have boot purity option. I have two hard drive. I can move one to another as I want. From here only you have to drag as this up and down. It will be selected. I have one SSD M2 drive 240 giga and another window drive that is one terabyte hybrid drive. Or I can go to advanced mode. Here we go. As you see down the way, I have boot option. Okay, you see CSM support enable, disable, and the boot device one, boot device two. You can change as you see disable, and you can change whichever you want. Okay, the first hard drive or second hard drive or any external USB drive in this case. Okay. Or also you can add a new boot option as you see in this case you can add an external USB you also can delete boot option if you want to delete any boot option from here you can do that if you connect a USB drive with the Windows ISO inside it will come here so in this case you can select that drive for install a new window okay advanced option here you can do few things as you see USB configuration. So you have to put enable USB configuration so you can boot from USB in this machine. So as you see boot option is very simple. Here should appear boot one, boot two. Okay, should be enable CSM support and some other option. But to be honest, sometimes one machine to another machine, you have some variation. In some cases, it's appearing one way to another way. As these machines are more complex these days, they are not simple as in the past. Okay, so if you have any problem, you can write me at the comment section. I could help you on that. Okay, after doing all this, you have to hit directly F10. Okay, as you see, save and exit. You have to save all the changes. If you don't change, it will return back to previous option. Hit OK. It will return back to the computer or it can boot from USB drive as you want or from CD drive, external, internal, whatever you want. Okay guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this segment, please give me a thumbs up. As always, for more information, go to the Ask Communication www.askcommunication.com Have a lovely evening. Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.